A red carpet event was held in West Springfield this week for a pre-release screening of the new film Little Women. The Parents Television Council sponsored the event as part of its For Every Girl campaign to change the way the media portrays young women and promote positive, healthy images of girls and women. That's the point of their campaign. The Parents Television Council is a secular, nonpartisan nonprofit based in Los Angeles, which works to protect children from graphic violence in the media. Carolee McGrath sat down with PTC President Tim Winter and Michelle DeMore, board member of PTC and administrator of Big Wise Educational Partnership, to learn more. At the Parents Television Council, we monitor what's going on on broadcast and cable television and increasingly on some of the streaming over-the-top platforms as well. We've identified a really troubling trend in that not just women writ large, but even young girls, 8, 10, 12 years old, are being sexualized. Uh, they are being highly valued for their physical appearance only. Uh, and it's really concerning when you think about the, the negative imagery. It's very toxic, it's harmful, it's unhealthy. And at the Parents Television Council, we launched the For Every Girl initiative to advocate for healthier, positive uh, images of women and young girls in entertainment. So these are public service announcements that will be aired on networks like Hallmark, is yes, that correct? That's right. Uh, we have produced a, a public service announcement. We want to produce a whole bunch more. This is something that we want girls to weigh in and offer their voices, let their experiences be told, because they're the ones who are facing it more than more than I am. I have a daughter, and I can see the pressures today that uh, that our young girls are under to look a certain way, to be a certain way, to act a certain way, and it's not the way that most parents would want to uh, to bring their children up. So Little Women is a new movie that's going to be released this weekend, but last night you had a nice little red carpet event here in West Springfield, which is a great tie-in. Explain how that movie aligns with the mission. Well, again, it, it, it demonstrates uh, healthy young woman images in the, in the characters of Joe and her family. And um, it's the kind of images we should be putting out there for our young uh, girls, not um, the idea that you have to be um, over-sexualized and define yourself by that um, so that you understand that you there is more to you than than just than just your looks that um, and in what what in your body and what the what the images are showing um, on TV you know studies have shown that basically TV is the number one influence of young people uh, in terms of what they choose to model over their parents or even their peers so um, it is really important that we show our young women um, that they have wonderful minds and wonderful souls that, and wonderful characters and, and that they can bring to the fore and be um, a wonderful role model for even for future generations beyond their, themselves. Talk about the impact that these images have on our young girls, in particular the, the teenage um, range. Well, science is at a consensus on this, and the American Psychological Association produced a very powerful research report, huge research report, about the sexualization of young girls in media. And it found that, uh, that sexualization in the media led to the top three mental health problems for young women, eating disorders, low self-esteem, depression. Uh, it, uh, it leads to promiscuity and, and substance abuse. When you look at the impacts, the consequences of a hypersexualized enter entertainment culture, uh, it really is leading girls in a wrong direction, and what Michelle said is so true. Despite what a parent tries to instill in their child, kids look at entertainment as a validation for what their parents are saying. And if the rest of the world believes something different than what their parents are suggesting, kids really absorb that like a sponge and want to mimic. They want to they uh, see who they aspire to be and, and, and be like them. And a lot of these messages are negative. We're so grateful that this is a, a film uh, that we're able to point to as a good example for strong, young, healthy uh, young women uh, with a with a you know strong mom. Um, it's a 150-year-old book, and yet it's still a timeless story. And you have two daughters. I have two daughters and, and six granddaughters. So this is this really hits home. It does you. hit home. It was interesting. It was an, uh, a concern of mine when my children were younger. And I thought it was uh, um, pervasive then, and I was sadly mistaken. Uh, things have gotten so much worse, and the models, the role models out there are s on, on TV are so bad um, that it even concerns me more for my, my young granddaughters. And, um, you know, so everybody has to be an advocate for their children. You advocate for your children every day on a variety of, 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 in a variety of ways. 
But then when life gets in the way and you're busy doing other things, you don't realize the effect that what they're watching on TV is having on them and they become desensitized and think it's normal. I think some people would say, though, on the other side, hey, look, it is just entertainment. You know, don't, you know, give me your morals and everything else. If kids want to watch this and if people are watching it and I'm making money, too bad. You know, why, why should we care about the Parents Television Council? Well, isn't it ironic that uh, the president of CBS just got fired for his conduct, and yet when you turn on his network at night, you're asked to be entertained by, amused by, laugh at, uh, the very conduct that got him fired. Um, uh, we don't want to be the, you know, the, the moral finger wagger of the nation. Uh, we're asking Hollywood to be better. Uh, if you know, Hollywood, they themselves know the impact of the messages they convey. Uh, look, I, I'm based in Los Angeles, and, and Hollywood, the folks there are happy to tell you how you're supposed to think, and that's what they do when they produce their movies. They know the impact they're having. Um, it can be positive, it can be negative. We understand that there is appropriate uh, content that's not appropriate for children that adults might want to have. And in, in our nation, you have that right to free speech. So we're not saying you can't do it. What we're trying to do is make sure that we have something positive to point, especially to our young girls, to our children, boys and girls, about how we should behave, how we should treat one another, because we're seeing the absolute consequences of, of a media culture that uh, instructs them to to, to go in a different direction. And what are you hoping as you move forward, as people maybe you know go and watch this movie but hear this message, what, what are you hoping in months and years to come, especially for your granddaughters? We have to be a voice and, and let Hollywood know what we're looking for for our children. And if we are silent, nothing's going to change. You know, when you think about it, right now, Hollywood is the biggest promoter of the Me Too movement. But on the other side of the coin, they're producing things that are very denigrating to women and young, especially young women. So somewhere along the line, that gap between what they're you know, putting on TV and what they're promoting as you know, healthy for women has to close and come together for healthier programming for young, young boys and girls.